Hey Geminis, this is your weekly reading for November 1st through the 7th. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with you guys. I want to tell you what decks I am using first. I am using two different tarot decks. I am using the uh, Morgan Greer tarot deck, which is this one here. And I'm also using the Urban Tarot deck uh, for your Twin Flame and Soulmate energy that we're going to be reading, okay? Um, I'm also going to be using dog. If y'all hear a dog, sorry, I got my window open because I'm burning some incense here. I'm using uh, the Energy Oracle deck and I'm using the Sacred Rebel Oracle deck, which I love that deck. Okay, if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks and you love them, you like them, you gotta have them, okay? You can find that information in the description box below. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in with each other. I wanna let you guys know are you trying to find happiness, serenity, peace, and get your money right? Get your um, yeah, get your money right. Okay, have stability in your life when it comes to your finances and work. Good job, Gemini. All these messages may not resonate. Um, this message may not resonate with everyone. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Pick cards here for Gemini. What is happening? Uh, this week, November 1st through the 7th. Thank you. Cards here for Gemini. Queen of Pentacles popping out on you guys. Nice. It's very good energy. You want control over your life, control over. over your life <laughs> okay whether that be you taking care of yourself financially mentally physically emotionally here okay now taking jumpers so we're going to shuffle this just a few more times Gemini. there we go okay let's see what's going on with you guys Ooh, ace of rods coming in here really good i feel like that is a message for you um yeah something new is coming in new energy uh is fire energy so it's really upbeat and uh full of life okay excuse me <laughs> sorry okay um gemini's you're going to be looking at new beginnings okay of course with the ace of rods it's going to bring in a lot of growth with the uh little leaves coming out there okay so fresh new energy that's what i will say okay it could also bring a new romance um of the beginning of a new romance coming in or a new phase in your life that you are preparing for uh, with the ace of rods okay this could be like i said with your uh career um with your family kids if you have kids um and you just becoming more motivated to take charge of your life. That's what I'm feeling here. Yes, look at you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eight of Pentacles coming in, working hard for you, working hard on what you uh, hold close to your heart, what you're passionate about. Okay. Um, you guys are very creative. That's what I'm feeling here, Gemini, um, this next week coming up here. Okay, so I see you really putting your focus on uh, projects that you may have put on the back burner. You're picking those up again. You're addressing um, the fact that you want to complete a project or become uh, a master of your skills. Yes. Okay, the moon card is coming in. What's being hidden here with this moon card? <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling here. Um yeah, I feel like they're saying pay attention to something here. It could be you personally and how you look at your relationships, how you look at yourself, okay? Um, they're saying under the light of the moon, we see the shadows, okay? And things may not necessarily be what it actually is. Situations may not necessarily be... Uh, the way that you perceive them. So pay, pay attention, okay? Um, you're uncertain about some outcome. This could be in work. This could be in love, since we're talking about twin flames and soulmates here, okay? 
you have the five of swords coming in. So I feel like you may be uh, putting your guards up a little bit here, Gemini, against people. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, another Gemini, okay, um, that I'm seeing here. Could be a water sign as well. But um, I feel like you're putting your guard up because uh, you may feel that people are trying to take advantage of you or get over on you, one up you, okay? <laughs> um, standing your way, getting your way here, okay? Um, you don't want this energy here. So I feel like both of these cards, the moon card and the five of swords, they're both telling you to pay attention right now to the people, places, and things, okay, uh, that you involve yourself with, okay? Places that you go, people that you deal with, okay? And the things that you involve yourself in, all right? Um, yeah. That you may have people around you that that's bringing, like... A knife to a cannon fight. <laughs> All right, you got the cannon and they're bringing a little knife. That's what I feel. Okay, I'm going to turn that around a little bit. Because I feel like you are prepared for, um, or you should prepare yourself, okay? For anything coming up here this next week here, okay? You, you may have very um, great ideas about a project or something that you want to create. Be careful about who you share that information with as well. For some reason, work, the Eight of Pentacles is sticking out to me, okay? You may have something at work going on. You have a great idea. Be careful who you share that information with. They may steal it, <laughs> all right? That's what I'm feeling here. You may feel like they're your friend um, or um, someone that you can trust. They're saying pay attention to the people that you put your trust in as well okay i know this is twin flame soulmate but if other messages come out i will address them here okay let's go ahead and pull some energy for your twin flame or soulmate and see what comes out for them okay if they're affecting you in any type of way give me cards here for gemini's twin flame or soulmate They're saying somebody is a master of something. <laughs> master of disguise? <laughs> wow. Okay. This is what you need to pay attention to. No jumpers here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to take this. I said no jumpers, but your person is coming out a little shit. A little shady okay you got the seven of swords coming out here that's what i'm seeing here all right seven of swords five of swords sitting up there um this person is showing up as um someone that may talk too much and again they're coming up with that same word pay attention to whoever this is as well oh, man okay You have the judgment card or the world card. I feel like the universe is the world card coming in here. Yeah. It's 10, 10, and 1. So 21. That is the world card coming in. What is this person doing? I feel for some reason, Gemini, um, they're trying to cover up something. I don't want to go too negative into your reading here, okay? Um, but the world card is letting me know that shifts will occur with this person, okay? Um, I want to say that the results will be beautiful, but then they're coming up with the seven of swords here. Like, it's some type of trick that they're playing, this twin flame and this soulmate to get ahead. Look at that. Be careful with your money, who you loan money to, who you give your money to, give access to your money. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles coming in here or who you share your ideas with because they may try to capitalize off of them before you have a chance to. That's a message for some of you guys, okay? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles coming in and you have the Four 
of wands okay four of wands come again here completion that's what the card is saying i want to say good things about this twin flame and this soulmate here so i'm going to skip the messages from the universe i'm going to come back for the messages i want to see what's going on with this twin flame or this soulmate why is this seven of swords here They're coming out with the Knight of Swords. A lot of sword energy here, okay? Um, you're dealing with someone that may be unpredictable, okay? And that's why they keep giving me this message for you to watch out for someone's hidden motives, possibly here. Um, that this person has, okay, okay, wow. The gift of the gab. <laughs> All right, that's not funny, but I'm just saying they have tricks and that's why the magician card is coming up here. Once you feel like you may put a lot of trust in someone, you may feel like there's a new beginning with them, like you have uh, reached this level of happiness uh, with someone, but I feel like there are hidden motives. This is the energy that's coming in. And with these cards pair with the magician, this is someone that may be very skillful with um, playing the part. But yeah, they may be a little trickster. That's what I'm going to say here. This, this is hidden with the hermit card coming in here. All right, what they're after. Okay, and you have these six, six of pentacles coming in here. Sitting right under the five of swords. This is what I'm talking about. You feel like you're building with this person, but there may be a lack of give and take. Uh, you may find yourself taking care of this person to keep structure, to keep the, the relationship together here, okay? Um, with the six of pentacles, six of pentacles, you should be having this energy of you both contributing, uh, being able to contribute to the relationship equally. But I feel like some of you guys are, may experience a loss in that area here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I have to clarify this. I haven't pulled additional cards for anyone. What's going on with this magician card? Let's pull a few more cards. I'm I'm interested to know what the heck is going on here. Whoa! Look at that. You got the four of wands coming out here again. And the six of pentacles. Okay. okay. Quick action. Quick communication or quick action. This is kind of iffy here, okay? I want to say good things about them, but I feel like um, I got to get some more cards out here. Seriously. see you as a caregiver and <laughs> that's what i'm saying here okay empress card four of wands okay and they put you in this type of energy that you may feel stuck with them in some way or feel bound to the connection or bound to them it just feels like there's something underneath here let's get some um additional messages here What additional messages do you have here for Gemini? Oh, 
Okay. They're trying to, okay, the thinking woman. We're both sitting up here thinking. <laughs> We're both sitting up here thinking, what are you up to? What the heck do you have planned, okay, for Gemini here? I feel, Gemini, with this Eight of Wands coming in and this Six of Pentacles, this person may be attracted to what you can provide, your the hard work that you put in, Gemini, okay? How much you give to them, um, uh, as far as money or attention or resources or a place to live. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? Because the Eight of Wands coming in over this Six of Pentacles is making me feel like... Um, you could possibly see rapid changes with this person. Uh, they may be very seductive and loving and supportive at one point, but then they have this uh, energy of switching up and you see them depart very quickly as well. Okay. Okay, you got the sixth uh, chakra coming in here. I feel like they want you to look. Okay, they're saying quiet yourself and be attentive. Okay, you may be dealing with someone that is smart, very confident in themselves, but they know a lot of uh, ways to manipulate a situation Ugh. okay interesting <laughs> this is coming to light this is getting crazy okay you got the moon card coming in and you have the sun card as well this is this won't last for too long okay this person will be found out even because i feel like the eight of swords is more your energy with the blindfolds on first of all this is you going within to really seek answers on how to free yourself or how to uh, become aware of your situation, whatever you're feeling uh, fearful of or feeling bound to. Okay, they're definitely telling you that you need to go within to seek those answers. Yes, okay. The sun card is bringing out the energy of you becoming aware of a situation, of a romance or a person that you are dealing with here. That's what I'm seeing, okay. And the first chakra is coming out. This is your root chakra or your base chakra that is coming out here. It represents your money. Okay. It represents the actions that you that you take, uh, your physical movement here. Okay. Um they're saying your physical movement matters with this first chakra, how you move matters here. They want you to pay attention to your body, your money, okay? And where you are putting your time. This is why this came up in the beginning of your reading. What you have is important to someone. It may be very important to this individual here, okay? This twin flame or this soulmate because it brings in comfort and stability for them. Because they're bringing out the Four of Swords twice here. So they're comfortable with what you provide. Okay, the stability that you provide here. But this Seven of Swords right here is like, eh. <laughs> okay. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords that's showing up here shows me that there is some trickery. Okay, they're the danger person or the danger boy or girl, whatever. Okay, um, but they do a very slick they're smart um and they bring up very intense energies within you which may confuse you um in regards to what they truly want what their motives truly are i'm gonna unearth it that's what we're doing here okay that's why the sun is shining so that you can be aware the sixth chakra is coming in saying activate that third chakra okay um so that you can understand yes i said it understand what is going on around you they're letting you know that intuitive guidance has your has your back okay the thinking woman the thinking woman here okay that's what you need to be the thinking woman hmm. okay 
What message do you have here? Let's get your final messages out. What final messages do you have here for... Gemini this week? the perfection of life what you, okay so you're trying to perfect something and i feel like some of my gemini's may feel like uh you won't reach your goals that's what's all up here okay eight of pentacles ace of wands you're feeling like okay i'm working 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 and i may not reach my goals or it's taking forever to get to my goals here um the universe is saying with this card, basically, um, that I feel like they're saying things will start to unearth secrets. Definitely with the sun coming in will be revealed in some type of way. They're letting you know that things will clear out. Okay. Um, and they want you to know that you haven't been forgotten either rejected or denied by them some of you guys may be praying at this time for clarity or meditating for clarity uh looking within to find answers like i said before okay your message here gemini is the storm that needs to erupt because that's what this card means is inside of yourself so the first chakra that's coming in is all about your movement. Maybe you need to move differently in order to see this person clearly. Maybe you need to pull back a little bit of support that you're giving so they can give equally to you, okay? And be a part of <laughs> this equal give and take here with the six of pentacles. Maybe you're giving a little bit too much of yourself, okay? All right, Beyond the mind, the heart beats here. So, all right. Talking about your mind and your heart. Which one is leading you right now at this moment? That's what I feel like they're saying. Um, they want you to trust your heart. All right. The highest energy of all is love. And I feel like you need to love yourself right now at this moment. Um, they're saying that your mind and your heart has been in conflict with each other. That's what this card is talking about, okay? But they're saying you will soon find truth within yourself here. I feel like you're trying to search for a way out of a situation, okay? Um, but the answer is within. That's why she has the blindfolds on. She's not looking outside of herself for answers. She is looking inside of herself to resolve issues here. Okay, so pay attention um, to where your heart is leading you. Trust in yourself at this moment, okay? That's what I feel like they're saying. All right, Gemini, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. I wanted to give you something that was good and tell you that this person is going to be everything that you need here but i gotta i have to give you the real messages i cannot skip all of these red flags that are waving in my face okay and usually swords showing up in your reading are not necessarily good here okay unless we're getting the ace of swords in <laughs> some matter okay where you have a lot of honesty or truth coming out all right usually the swords bring out the negativity that people try to hide. Hence the moon being here, okay? that. But what's done in the dark will come to the light. Yes, it will, okay? That is your reading, Gemini. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I will be back with you. Take care of yourself, Gems. Bye.